Well, the boot camps attract all sorts of people and we've got some brand new contestants that are going to be going into MKR from South Australia, Celine and Vicky. Now, Celine is there at the boot camp right now. Yeah, good morning, Celine. How are you? Good morning, guys. I'm good. Watching now, them do boot camp. Are you watching? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Definitely not joining in. Well, mate, um, you're joining into the kitchen on My Kitchen Rules very, very soon. And I've got to be honest, we need you because last night, Annie and Lloyd's Team South Australia, very disappointing performance. I don't know. Did you watch it? Oh, I watched it. Don't worry, I watched it. Watch it, but you know what? We're gonna smash it for you guys. Don't worry. We've got. What did you think of them? What did you think of their stuff? Oh, I was stressing the whole time. You know, I used to think, oh, abusing people through the TV. That's ridiculous. They don't know what it's like in the kitchen. And then I was abusing them through the TV. Like, <laughs> sorry, Annie and Lloyd, but what the hell was going on, guys? Yeah. I like it. This is beef. We need the beef between the SA contestants because we need a lift out of you, mate. Because I was watching yep. it. And what do you think of them personally? Do you think they've got a weird coupley dynamic? There's a, there's a weird vibe there, Celine. Come on, just between us. No one else is listening. No. One will hear this interview. Is yeah. there some weird stuff going down between those two? Look, they are lovely people, mm. great people, really nice, but I've just got to say, Annie and Lloyd, like, I love you guys, but yeah, there is something funky going on. Yeah, there is. There really yeah, is. Yeah, the food. No now, good. Now, Celine, just quickly, what's your signature dish? Like, what's that your go-to dish that you're dying to cook? Oh, you can't give um, away too many secrets? <laughs> I mean, no, I can't. But anything Greek, really, come on. I mean, we, we've got no excuses when it comes to yes. Greek food. Yeah. Well, of course, because your family uh, owners of Greek on Halifax, great restaurant. Um, yes, so, very, you. Very, you know, standards are high there. So hopefully it's going to go well on the show. The other thing I wanted to know from you, mate, is, you know how there's been some bitchiness on the show? Do you think, are you worried about the way you're going to come across? You know, how some of the people from WA want everyone to lose. Are you going to be at least nice? Oh, look, mum and I never went into the competition wanting to bring people down. That yeah. is not what we're all about. But, um, you know, I'm very sarcastic and have a very dry sense of humour. So it could come across wrong, but it's definitely not intentional at all. Yeah. Okay. All right, Vicky. Now we're going to give you 20 seconds and you need to convince us of why we should get behind you and your mum. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Take it away. All right. First of all, when you know that people have got a bit of weight on them, you know they're good cooks. They <laughs> eat the food. So we win that one. And second, you know, the Greek on Halifax, they do pretty good. All right. Not going to lie. And thirdly, my papu, his accent is so fob that you know that he makes the best pizza bread in this world. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, Celine, thank you so much for the chat this morning. Good luck. Can't wait to see you cook. Enjoy the rest of the boot camp. Yes, enjoy the rest <laughs> of the boot camp. Get out there. Oh, no, nah, I'll drag a donut along and then I'll eat the donut up. <laughs> <laughs> See you, mate. Thank you, Celine. Of course, My Kitchen Rules, that is back tonight. Channel 7 cannot wait for it tonight uh, because the final couple of this round is cooking. Yeah, they are. And for South Australia's hopes, uh, hopefully they serve up salmonella on the dish. <laughs>